What keeps me coming back every Saturday is the environment that the Adler has given us. Finding meteorites is new for all of us. It's a new process and we're all learning together. We're all curious to achieve this one goal. I think what makes me come back is actually the people who work here. They're all very friendly and very encouraging. Being a teenager, you, you'd think that it would be all up to the adults to tell you what to do, but they look for what you think would be a good idea to integrate. They look for your viewpoints. Being that I'm in high school, I'm barely a freshman and and they're putting like, some of the responsibility on us. I feel like important. We had actually Skyped in with a NASA scientist. And I felt like really honored to be able to Skype with one. All the hard work that we've been doing, that's how it's paying off. I'm Mark Fries. I'm a scientist at Johnson Space Center. I'm also the curator for the Cosmic Dust Collection. What can you tell us about the temperature of the meteorite once it lands? When it, hits, it first hits the atmosphere, it is at the temperature of deep space. It's down in like 10 Kelvin regime. So usually when they land on the Earth, they're cold, not hot. I feel like this could be at NASA, but they decided to bring it here and share it with us. So I feel like that's very special because the fact that they trust us enough and they believe in us enough is also helpful. And that's what makes it so beautiful because it's not just like you're just learning, like people believe in you. I think it's special to involve teens because it's important to give us a voice. I think a lot comes from the collaboration. Oh, it's been amazing to work with these experts. It's something like, oh, that'll never happen, and now it has. You're actually working with these people. Yeah, they might be programming coordinators and instructors, but they're also your colleagues, and it's been fantastic.